Howdy sailor! Today we're going to continue our nuclear theme when we look at nuclear propulsion systems on submarines. Stay tuned, it's full steam ahead on Steam Culture. So today we're going to look at nuclear power again, but today we're going to be in the submarine. It's the propulsion system that drives the whole submarine. Originated in 1955 with the USS Nautilus, and from there the technology has advanced quite a bit. Now, the difference between land and nuclear is a little more similar than you think. You know, last week we talked about the boiling water reactor, and we talked about the pressurized water reactor. Well, the propulsion system in a submarine is a pressurized water reactor. And just to refresh, you have this nuclear reactor, and we have uranium atom 235 being split, creating a ton of heat energy. Well, in a pressurized system, we, we have pressurized water that's piped through the reactor. So we keep that water under pressure so it doesn't boil. We pipe it over to a steam generator, which is filled with water. It heats the water, creates steam, and goes to a turbine. Well, let me tell you about three things that are very different between a submarine and a nuclear plant that's on land. And that is the adverse conditions, the varying loads, and the uranium. Now, the adverse conditions is about a submarine moving, maneuvering, and all sorts of things like that. So the reactor has to be able to withstand to that. Two, the varying loads. Um, as opposed to being steady and just generating electricity, a submarine can be cruising along and then, you know, in a matter literally of minutes, they're maneuvering and doing other things that really puts a lot of different uh, load swings on the reactor. And three is that the uranium, because the reactor is smaller, has to be super enriched. So it's kind of like supercharged uranium. So to wrap things up, nuclear propulsion system on submarine and land are both creating steam, but on a submarine, we're turning that propeller. And it, not only that, I didn't mention this earlier, but you should know it turns it very quietly, which is a signature of a nuclear submarine and very important because those guys are all about being undetected. Well, thanks for joining me this week on Steam Culture. Hope that was new and interesting to you. Find me on social media because we're everywhere and we'll come up with something fun for you next week. See you then.